Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller. I'm back with another great tutorial. This one is on how to add MailChimp groups to the Bloom opt-in plugin. This is going to be a major problem solver. There's been so many people asking how to do this and there's been no tutorial or documentation anywhere on the internet. So I'm excited to be the first one and hopefully this is very helpful to you and if you like this kind of thing, be sure to subscribe. Let's jump right in, show you how to do this. Okay, so we're gonna start over in MailChimp. Go to your audience tab and from there, we're going to click on view contacts. What we need to do is create a group that will then act as a custom field in the Bloom opt-in plugin. So let's go here to manage contacts, click on groups. Now we already have one in here because I did a tutorial on how to add the MailChimp groups to the Divi opt-in module. Now this one's specifically for the Bloom opt-in plugin. What we're gonna do is create a group and you're gonna see a list of options here. Just keep it on the first one for now. And then we have a group category. So let's go ahead and call this something um, called the Bloom Demo 1. And then there's group names. And again, we're going to need to give it a name. So let's just call it Demo Group. All right. Get rid of the ones that we don't want and click on Save. And then hit Done for Now. All right. So next, we got to go over here to what the sign up forms and really we're just I'm just showing you here in the form builder um, what that group is going to do it's going to actually add that to the form even though we're not showing all of these fields I want to show you that here we have the bloom demo and it's visible so if I were to click on here you'll see that it's set to visible and that's very important we're actually going to hide the field for this tutorial um, later on in bloom but it's very important that in MailChimp that it's set to visible. So this will be fine by default. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is go over here in Bloom and go to the email accounts under Bloom and hit the little update list button. Since we've added that group to the list, we need to do this to make sure that it shows up when we go in here and add it to our form. Let's go over here to the opt-in forms. I have a example set up here. So what you need to do is go in here and go to the design tab. On this design tab, scroll down to custom fields. So we're going to enable that. And then we need to add a new custom field. And under here, we're going to see our Bloom demo. All right. And then right here we have, remember what we did, we called this group the Bloom Demo Group. So let's go ahead and click on this box to make a check mark. We want this to be checked because we're going to hide it on the Bloom pop-up. So we want it to be checked so that the people are automatically added to this group. All right, and so we certainly can't and don't want to hide it here um, because if we do that, it will not work. The only way that this will work is if we hide it with CSS. All right, so we've selected our category in our group and we're done. So click on save on that. And let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so now that we have our group set up in our opt-in module, I'm gonna go over here to our little demo and you'll see that when it pops up that it has the name of the category and also the name of the group and it's very visible and you can see that the check mark is checked like we did. All right, now I don't like this here and so I'm gonna hide it with some CSS. So let's go over to the Divi theme options. Okay, so there's a code snippet in the written tutorial that's linked in the bottom of this video. So go ahead and grab that snippet and we're gonna add it here. And what it's gonna do is hide that uh, field wrapper. It's gonna display none with CSS, so that way we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's go ahead and save that and take a look at our example now. Okay, so here you have it. As you can see, that field and all those check marks are gone. Let's go ahead and subscribe. 
and then we'll subscribe and go over to MailChimp and see if it adds it to the group. All right, so I'm back here at the audience dashboard. Click on view contacts. Okay, so as you can see, it added my email address here to the audience. Now, we have to see though if it's in the group, which is the main point of this tutorial. So let's go over here to groups. Now I need to point out that it often takes about five minutes for it to add it to the group. It will add it to the audience right away, but then it's going to take a few minutes. So let's just check. So our bloom here, this one here was for our other tutorial on the Divi opt-in module. All right, it looks like it may have added it. So let's click on this and see our one contact. And there we have it. That one worked pretty quick. Okay, well that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found that very helpful. I know that's a major problem and I really like solving the problems with my tutorials. So if you like that sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment, tell me what you like or don't like about this channel and also what you'd like to see next. Alright, thank you and we'll see you in the next video.